All right, now that we've got the doors and windows drawn, the next step is to draw the fireplace, or the chimney actually, the exterior part of the fireplace. Um, if we look over here, I can see I've got my fireplace drawn when I rotated it over. I want to show you what it looks like when it's completed, because these are going to be some pretty important uh, dimensions to look at here. So I'm kind of zooming in, coming over here. So we're going to have this fireplace up here um, from the peak of the roof. Now remember that roof, we, we have no idea how tall that was. We're just going to go from the, the, the top peak of that roof, we're going to go over two feet. So that's how tall it's going to be. We know how wide it's going to be from the floor plan. We're going to go two feet up and then we have the little chimney cap here. You made that as a block back when you made blocks in the cabin symbols drawing. So we're going to start off with those things. We'll come over here. Our beloved um, construction lines. Let's set our construction layer current. Uh, and we're going to draw V for vertical. And we are actually, oops, here we are. Let's just take it from the corner of that fireplace. That's how wide it is. And then remember, we said that from the very peak of the roof, we're gonna go over, we're gonna offset uh, two feet, 24 inches, two feet, however you wanna type it. I don't need that anymore. That was just to get me the height. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim out what I don't need. So I'm gonna use my trim command actually okay you could trim or let's just go ahead and draw it mm -hmm. we'll draw a line from here just kind of tracing over up to you if you want to trim this if you want to just draw the lines but we want to take it to the top layer of that roof now we can turn off our construction layer and we've got it so this looks good um, and then um, like we talked about this little top part here one foot four you have that as a block so remember your chimney cap you made that as a block and we are just going to put it right there at the midpoint that part's done easy one by six trim so what we're looking at is six inches tall it's up to you if you want to draw this the nominal size or the actual size nominal is one by six actual is for a one by it's three quarters by five and a half inches so you can make this offset five and a half inches or you can make it six inches this is totally up to you so we're going to come over here and i'm just going to do um, a regular old offset and i'm just going to make it six inches you could make it five and a half if you want to be technical. Now it does have trim right here and we can see it's a one by four trim at corners. We kind of had the trim already over here. Remember we did the one by um, the, the two by fours. We made this three and a half inches. We're going to talk about that in just a second, but I'm going to come over here and we'll just do an offset. Since we actually did those the actual size instead of the nominal size, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, three and a half inches over here from here to here and from here to here notice when I did that since this is sloped I'm gonna have to come over here and extend this one and then trim this since we did it on an angle there I'm also going to trim this part and there is one more thing. Notice it was a one by six. I don't know if you can tell, it kind of hangs over the edge right there because you've got one by sixes coming. Since it's trim, you've got one by sixes coming the other direction kind of towards you. So this is actually gonna be offset by one inch. So offset one inch from here to here here to here. Up to you how you want to do this offset. Um, I'm going to do the, remember that fancy fillet with a radius of zero, M for multiple, and then check it out. I'm going to click here, click there, click here, click there. Just trims it out. That is so cool. Here and here. I've been doing this for years and this is still exciting to me. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and trim out this little piece here there it's real subtle but that little there's a little one inch on each side there um, something else that we see is a galvanized six inch galvanized iron flashing so you know that flashing whenever you have a roof um, you got to have that flashing in there so it doesn't leak so we're gonna just come over here and we're gonna do an offset of six inches we'll just bring this 
oops, hold on, I did the wrong one. Six inches, make sure you grab your top line here and here. And we're just gonna do a trim. See that little corner? We know we're gonna, you know me, we're gonna fill it this thing with a radius of zero. So that looks good. We're gonna go trim out that rest of it. You actually don't see the, um, the trim behind that flashing. So that flashing looks good right there. I do want to kind of address these. So we did the two by fours. Remember we drew it. This is the first thing we did. We kind of had to figure out how tall to make these walls, how to construct them. But now we're not looking at a section view of this wall where we're cutting into it and looking at those two by fours. We're standing in the front yard looking at the elevation. So what we're actually going to do is these were super helpful to get us there. We're actually going to get rid of those and trim. May as well do it at this step. We're going to get, this was super helpful. We thank you little two by fours, but we do not need you anymore. Um, this one and trim. All right. Ooh, wee, this looks good, doesn't it? All right, look, it's coming together. We've had, what, three videos? <laughs> and it's easy to do. So you're just, we're following along. We've got it looking about the way that we want it to look. Um, we will come in in the end and put in the hatch. There'll be a separate video for that. Um, but let's go ahead and... Um, move to the next video. I think in the next video what I'm going to do is start the side view or well we're doing the side elevation but we're going to go ahead. We've got all the good stuff that we need here. Um, for now let's move. Nope we're going to go ahead. Mm, yeah we're going to go ahead and draw this. This picture is wrong. We did change it so that it's a six inch step down to that stoop and we're going to draw the stairs here as well.